Hi all, in our uh, previous SQL transformation video, we created source qualifier transformation as well as SQL transformation and we defined the SQL query, static SQL query and given details about our uh, required output parameters and we discussed about the sample query whatever the example that we are currently implementing so these properties and SQL settings are uh, very common when compared to other properties of transformations now I am creating target transformation this product sales we created this product sales target analyzer in our earlier video now I am mapping this product ID name unit price to these three values and also we verified all the data in this product sales table and source date source table now mapping is computed uh, I will create a session for this in the task developer I am creating a new session underscore static underscore sql s underscore m underscore i am associating this to our static sql mapping now i will change database connections here in the components or in the mapping connections so our product sales is a source database it is also source database the source connection is source database again the target connection is target database and this SQL our SQL transformation connection type is relational it is associated to target database and our product sales is also associated to this target database I am changing the connections here it is source database done I will create a workflow now for this session in workflows create a new workflow w underscore static underscore sql i am taking this session into this workflow designer and mapping these to connect nothing but connecting these two using line task i am saving the session now we created the workflow for this mapping now i will write i will run this workflow come down the session got succeeded we can also look into the session log here by looking into the session log uh, we can see the native type is not not yet declared and it is throwing the error uh, as a native type could not be found let me declare that native type so if you open the mapping uh, here in the SQL ports uh, this is the native type uh, I am declaring it as integer now I am applying it I am ok I am saving the mapping and now I will refresh the session with this mapping refresh mapping I saved it now I am running this workflow it ran successfully again just now I am going to the session log it 
yes uh, in target requested firewalls affected firewalls affected git affected firewalls in the load someone also five firewalls now we go to the sql server in product sales table that is our table let's see the data here we are seeing two records with the null values and three records with one or two let's see the data in the product sales table so for one or two we have one record two record three record for one or two we have three records what are the three records that we have those three records got inserted into our product sales table and when i see the data where product id is equal to 101 100 we do not have any other any records and 101 also we don't have any records for only 102 we have three record that three record got inserted for remaining two null for null got inserted means uh, here whatever the input data that we have that product id 100 101 102 so as we do not have this 101 value and 100 value these three got are directly inserted as null into this table so finally we got five records into our table this is so uh, we have uh, five records into our table with two nulls as we do not have the two records in our target table and three as one or two with value so this is static sql transformation where we parameterize this product id value from the source now we can also write a uh, independent sql transformations sql scripts uh, let's write a simple uh, sql script for this so here uh, this is a sql transformation where here what i do do is uh, i will remove all these transformations okay uh, i will remove this query also and apply simple wait as 5 seconds and so to the same table uh, whatever the product id that i have i am inserting that id into this product id mapping remaining two will be null so here uh, as i apply delay as 5 seconds so for each and every row in product id table uh, it will read that row and it will apply 5 seconds delay and it will nothing but uh, for those three records it will apply total 15 second delay and it will read those three records finally and insert those three into this product sales table okay so let me see here uh, now i am saying the was flow i will refresh the session i'm saving it now i'm running the same was flow so uh, as i apply 15 second delay still it is in running position see after 15 seconds uh, it will get succeeded now it got succeeded uh, let me see the data in the database product sales so here 100 101 102 this is the source data as we haven't mapped these two it got inserted with null values now see the session log how the delay got applied to this transformation so this is the session i am going to the session log uh here target table product id inserted into here yeah the source data got read already sql prod sql 
product sales from uh, product ID uh, first row returns from the database to the reader finally it treats all the three records from the reader reader and completed the source call fair got already read by this step uh, this thread represent this is a thread id message counter and this is a thread id the source call is got already read it and the input rows are 3 here if you see this is a 216 and this is a 231 here we can say that the 15 seconds delay for these three records get applied and finishes the transformation for the source call fair is to process means for each and every record it took 5 seconds overall it took 15 seconds to complete the transformation so it's a simple uh, SQL statement I have used in the SQL transformation where we can use uh, our own SQL scripts or SQL queries and we can run the logic or we can execute the logic in our SQL transformation and here uh, we have one property to talk about in SQL transformation that is transaction transformation scope so this is a transformation scope property so whatever the transformation logic that we define here is uh, how we are applying that logic is what about so the transformation scope has three values row uh, transaction and all input so nothing but uh, here if you see this property is uh, row for passive uh, transformations passive transformation means so if the input number of records is same as output number of records then that is nothing but the uh, row uh, trans trans transformation scope so if the input whatever the input data that we are passing to this transformation is different than the number of records that we process to, to this transformation is different then that is nothing but active transformation so in case of active transformation uh, we can go with this all input or transaction or uh, transformation scope where uh, we will apply the logic to that whole input and we will get the result so these two are about uh, nothing but these two means the independent SQL script that we use SQL query that we use in the SQL transformation and static parameterized SQL query so this is how we can use uh, SQL transformation in our informatica thank you